Right, welcome uh, to the lab, and uh, what is a feast for technical people? Because this is going to be the first time in history, as far as I'm aware, this has ever been shown to the public. Because what we have in here are all my spare boards for the Quantel paint box. Now, although it's from 1981 originally, uh, Quantel have always been very protective over their hardware, for obvious reasons, because... It was custom designed, cost a fortune to make, and they didn't want people nicking their technology, so they always kept very cagey about what was in it. So there are there's very little specs available anywhere on what actually runs inside. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Quantel themselves, who've given me permission to make this video. I have written permission to show the hardware the first time, the hardware boards inside the original Quantel paint box 7001. Now, those two over there are not part of this video, they are from, well they are from the paint box itself, they are in here for repair because they've blown some capacitors during testing, so they're going to be done soon. But uh, let's start. We've got uh, about 29 boards to go through. So, make yourself a cup of tea, pause the video while I do, and come back. Right, this is the decoder board. Now, I'm not hugely technically minded, but a lot of my viewers are, so they'll be able to make more of this than I do. Uh, if you have any area you want me to particularly uh, focus on or take pictures of, please let me know. But here you can see, these are what apparently are delay lines for the signal, but beyond that I do not know. So that's the top board and these actually uh, fold open and there's a lower board. I'll just have to grab my main one because that one's screwed shut. And this one is not. This one has blown some capacitors this afternoon. Uh, where are they gone? I can't spend ages looking for them. Uh, I keep forgetting where they are. But they are oh there's one. Uh, where are you? There you are. There's one little mark on the top shows it's blown. And there's a big one that's gone underneath. But this is the underneath. Look at that. It's just packed with stuff. Uh, it's all the through hole stuff. There's no SMC in here at all. So, that's the decoder board. This wires through to the other stuff. Uh, again. Let me know if you want to see anything more specific. Oh, that's my real one, so I'll just put that over there. That's the spares one. So I'll put that out the way over there. Excuse my back in shot. There we go. Now these two, well six of these, these are sets. These go around the back. They're sort of comms, obviously, boards, but I have no idea. They're the same, those two. No idea what they're for. I cannot find any instructions what they connect to. Uh, just get these ones out. I mean, to the more interesting stuff. Now, a lot of the ones in the spares box uh, actually have blown capacitors. So these are either from the Manchester machine or spares for the uh, for the system. This is the filter board. Filter gives it away. And uh, yes, it's covered in these TRW1008J4C chips. There are four of them, and uh, whatever them are, MOSTEC. Plenty of them in this filter board. So if you know about it, this cover this. Lovely, isn't it? And uh, some models at the back there. So if you know any more about these, or you just want to share your technical knowledge on them, they are all one-sided boards. There's the back. That lovely golden copper colour. The traces on them. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, if you want to share any of your technical knowledge with us, feel free to do so. This is the ADC. Somebody uh, knows what ADC stands for. Please let me know, this lives in the bottom right hand side of the system. It's one of the horizontal boards. It has the, the delay lines on it. Once more. 
on the chips. Uh, 1048JC6 on this one. Hmm. Interesting. Next up, uh, we have what's this one? The, the digital interface. Again, if you want to know any details, leave it in the comments and I'll have a look and get back to you as soon as we can. The next three are from the store. Six of these actually, they're all the same. They're arranged in two banks, each of which has a controller, but these are all identical. So I should just put them there. And they are cards that are behaving in the one I'm restoring. This one is ah computer. This is a part two of the CPU central processing and not fired it up yet, but this seems to be EPROMs with the OS sitting on. This board has more of these EPROMs than the one that's in the system. So I am very tempted once I get it running to swap that out for this one and see what happens. Could be an interesting experiment. Uh, trying to get out the main processor board, not yet. This is the OP lock. Which has all this stuff here. All these test points? I am not sure, please let me know. It has shielding on the back. What's behind there? And it looks single layered. Yeah, it looks single layered. It does have shielding on the back. These the always strange test ports. I don't know. Uh, here we have another OP oh, OP process PAL. So obviously for making the PAL signal. And there is the delay lines. And uh, if anybody knows what these are, please let me know. Because I don't. Look like a load of uh, tuning parts, but I don't know what they are. So please let me know if you do. So the cap filter caps and uh, some chips which are TRW1016J7CS. Uh, what have we got here? Disk sequencing. Power, well, there is an AM2910APC. So. There we go. Very nice boards, aren't they? Even from an aesthetic point, they are lovely. This is op timing, whatever that means. Please let me know if you do, because I don't. Again, every board in the system is single sided. Uh, I think this is another op timing, not sure. Uh, I've forgotten the name of these, but there it is. There is one. It's one of them. Oh, combiner. Combiner's written on there. There we go. Combiner. Of course, it brings everything together to make a signal. Talking garbage. I wouldn't know. Right, more store cards. All the same. Uh, Brush store. No, it's not an artist shop. It's uh, obviously where they keep the programs for the different brushes. Interesting stuff. Uh, yeah, below we have size control. So, is that to do with text? Uh, brush sizes? I know not. Perhaps you do. Please let me know. Uh, the D buffer. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, this is a another no, combiner. Oh no, sorry. This is brush address. <laughs> There we go. 
another store card, all identical. Uh, IP lock-in. And again, it's got all these uh, calls. I have no idea what they're for. Please let me do it. Oh, that's filthy. Please let me know if you do. And uh, obviously, evil capacitors. That's what we're having trouble with blowing at the moment. It was 80 solid state capacitors. Wonderful things they are. Not. <sighs> Even not resistible. This is strange. Uh, rush processing. Yeah, some of the chips on this one do have scarring marks on them. It's weird. On this this board. Uh, getting close to the uh, CPU. Right, storage address seven zero zero one. No idea what's for. But there it is. Uh, oh, let's go for the CPU. I think this is it. Ah, computer one, the CPU. It's actually uh, uh, Motorola 8000. Yeah, it's a Motorola 8000. Now, the other one does have markings on here, but this one's been scraped off for some strange unknown reason. I think it has been scraped off. I'm sure, there's markings on the other one. There we go, that's the CPU. There's a clock, which is... Dual band rate generator, 8525, Motorola. Uh, could this be the BIOS? I don't know. Not technically minded enough to not know that. Getting better, but not technically minded enough. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I need some dying. This is IP timing. Okay. No idea what that's for. And another store card. So I've got plenty of store cards if you have to with them. Although the ones in the machine are behaving at the moment, so yeah, never know your luck. Uh, store address again. I think we've done that one, but there we go. And the last one is brush processing again. More strange markings on the chips. What course is that? I do not know. Hmm, interesting. Well, there it is. There may be other cards. I'm not quite sure, but. They're downstairs in the machine, so they're not getting disturbed at the moment. But there you go. There's a look at the uh, spares, and uh, thanks to Quantel for allowing me to show me their baby. And for their help with this uh, restoration so far. So, thank you very much. Any questions? Uh, anything you want to tell me about them? Please, please, add in the comments. And subscribe as well to this channel. Please, thank you. See you later, hope you enjoyed.